Hey, shalom everyone. This is your brother Daniela, aka the Copper Color Papa Tom. And um, I wanted to make this video talking about the Joy Morgan situation and how strange this shit is. Now, I do want to say this. I hope to Yah, I pray to Yah that this sister will be found all right. Maybe she decided to skip town, something, but she's in safe hands and that. The Most High is watching over this sister. I do want to say that I hope and I pray to Yah that she's all right because we don't know what's going on. And I won't keep it honest. A majority of us do not know what's going on. We have no clue what is going on. But we are running around like a chicken with his head cut off as if we know what the hell is going on. But we don't. We're, we're a fucking chicken with, it, with his head cut off running around. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know where we're going. And I've been following this situation probably for the past three days. I wanted to make a video about it three days ago, but I was like, you know what? Let me just wait a while. Uh, let me see how this thing develops. It's too early. But you know what? We have brothers and sisters out here who are reporting on this with very little information. So what I'm going to give you, I may give you a little bit of my opinion, but I'm definitely not going to state anything that's not true. Because I can tell you at this point in time, there are a lot of brothers and sisters out here who are part of the faith i'm talking about brothers and sisters who call themselves hebrew israelites that wear fringes in the border of blue who supposedly keep the law statutes and commandments of the most high and faith and good works yet they're out here slandering they're backbiting they're coming at their brothers with malice they're gossiping they're doing a whole lot of things that we should not be doing as a nation if anything we should be surrounding the brothers of IUIC with love, patience, understanding. That's what we should be doing. We should not be being false accusers because that's what a lot of brothers and sisters are doing. Some brothers are saying, yo, you know, IUIC is responsible for this murder, blah, 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 blah. Then we have brothers out here saying that this sister has been murdered when there is no proof at all. That this sister has been murdered. It's like y'all speaking death on this woman. I hope that this woman is alive somewhere and she's doing well. Because IUIC had it before. You know, there's even been brothers outside of IUIC. There was an elder a few years ago who was missing for like a few months. And he turned out that he was alright. He was just with family. He just went, He just needed a break from life. <laughs> he just needed to get back to his family or whatever. There's been many times where that has happened in IUIC and outside of IUIC. So I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that this sister's all right. I'm hoping that this beautiful young sister is all right. You know, y'all forbid that she's dead or something evil has happened upon this sister. I hope that she is all good. So I'm not going to speak death on this woman. I'm going to pray and hope that this, this sister is all right and that the Most High has her in a good place. But I do want to address some things. The hypocrisy, the malice, the evil, the, the, you know, the back, the, the fucking backbiting, you know what I'm saying? And the, you know, the, um, you know, gossiping. I mean, it's just terrible. And I want to say this, there is something strange going on with this situation, y'all. It's something strange going on. And the reason why I have this page up is because I'm always looking for the latest updates on this system. You know, what's going on, the latest updates. Okay, uh, and from what I've seen, I don't know where brothers and sisters are getting this murder from. I, well, I can understand where they're getting it from, but I don't know why they're saying that it's a murder. Because this woman and sister is not murdered. There is no body found. There's no body at all. They don't have no signs of a murder, no signs of a struggle, no signs of blood or anything like that that matches this woman at all. Yet y'all are saying that she is murdered. Look, I'm going to read you this headline. This is what a lot of Negroes are going off of, okay? Right here it says, Joy Morgan, a man charged with Hatfield students murdered. And sorry, guys, I have been drinking. <laughs> I have been drinking a little wine today, so forgive me for my slur speech and reading and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I just, I just had to give me a little drink in my system. But anyways, it says a man has been charged with the murder of a missing student. Okay? They said that she this man has been charged with 
the murder of a missing student. Okay. So there's they're acting as if they found a body or if there was a confession. Okay. Joy Morgan sorry, Joy Morgan twenty one, who was studying midwifery at the University of Hertfordshire, was last seen at a church celebration in Ilford, London on twenty on twenty six November. That's kinda weird. I guess that's English England English. Um she was reported missing in February after failing to return to her studies. Ajibola Shobamimu, 40, of Ford Winch Road, London, has been charged with Miss Morgan's murder and is due to appear in the Hart, sorry, Hat, yeah, Hatfield remand court on Thursday. Now that's all they're saying. That's all they're saying. Now, when we read other articles, okay, when we read other articles, we're going to see how long ago this was. So this was the 27th, okay, of February when this article came out. It is now March 2nd. You guys can't see this uh, on my screen, but it's March 2nd right now, okay? So this was about three days ago. I'm sorry, sorry. Five days ago. No, actually, this is about four days ago. Because we only have 28 days, 28 days in March. So yeah, I mean sorry, in February. So this came out about four days ago, people. Okay. Now, I found a more recent article. Uh, I believe this is more recent. I'm not sure. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, no, this one is the most recent one. I think this one's the more recent one. No, maybe the one that I saw was the most recent one. Okay, so. I'm going to read this to you again. It's basically the same thing. They're regurgitating the same shit. You can, check, you can check this stuff out yourself. It says, okay. Now, mind you, in these articles, they're saying, okay, even in the headline in this article, what is it saying? Man charged with murder of missing student. Joy was, Joy was last seen at Ilford, East London, on Boxing Day, okay? Missing University student. <laughs> Student Joy, uh, sorry, Student Joy and Morgan, okay. A man has been charged with the murder in connection with the disappearance of Hertfordshire University student Joy. So what is it? Is he charged with murder or is he just simply charged because he, he was connected with her? Because from a lot of reports that I was reading, they said that he was joined to the hip with her. So basically, anywhere he went, she went. So this is why they made him the main, the prime suspect. But they're not, they're not really saying much. They're saying that, okay, we charged this guy with murder, but he's not the murderer, though. So we're going to continue reading. Whatever his name is, 40 of Ford Winch Road, London, will appear at Hatfield Raymond Court on Thursday. Hertfordshire, uh, whatever the hell that is, Canterbury said, Joy, who would have turned 21 earlier this month, was last seen in Ilford, East London, on Boxing Day at Christmas celebration at her church. Okay. Now this is what. Now you see this. This is. Uh, this is. This was released on the 15th of February. It says, "Please watch or retweet to help us find Mr. 21-year-old University Hartford." Student who was last seen, blah, 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 blah. Her disappearance is completely out of character. Please call 101 uh, with information or 911 uh, with immediate sightings. Okay, so the University Hartford uh, student made WhatsApp contact with people on on her course the following day and was reported missing on, this, on February 7th. Uh, Joy is described as a slim, around five foot five inches, with afro hair. She regularly covers with a scarf and glasses. She has links to Ilford, Battersea, Cricketwood, Stevenage, and Lut Lutton, or whatever. Okay, so they say that this girl's murdered, yet they don't say anything about this woman. Like they have a body, and then mind you, I can't find some of the sources. But this man has been arrested, and he has also been released. Now, when do they ever release people for a murder? <laughs> See, what happened, if you ever watch First 48, or if you've ever been dealing with law enforcement in that area, you know that most people are released from law enforcement when they don't have enough evidence. 
we already know that, you know, if you ever watch First 48, they arrest people who are suspects. They detain them, they question them. And then if they don't have enough information to arrest that person, what they would do is they would let that person go. So while you guys were saying that this guy murdered this woman, they didn't have enough evidence to keep his ass there. At all. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, IUIC leadership said that they talked to the brother and he said that he had nothing to do with this woman's disappearance. Now, like them, I'm going to take that brother's word. I'm going to take his word for it. But if he if he's found guilty, then he's going to deal with the law. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is take the brother's word for why. Because I have no evidence. I have no proof. I have no witnesses against him. And you know how we're supposed to deal in Israel. We're supposed to have at least two witnesses to persecute anyone. Okay? But we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. Okay, family and Mrs. Student George Morgan says that they are broken inside. Uh, okay, so Joy 21 has not been seen since Boxing Day, and a man has been arrested on suspicion of murder. So, see, guys, this man has only been arrested on suspicion of murder. They have no fucking evidence at all that um that this woman has been murdered. There's no evidence at all that this sister has been murdered. And you guys, you can look at all the, uh, all the uh, what's it called, such a want, the articles. I'm going to refresh this page for you guys to see if there's anything new out here because there's nothing, there's nothing out here. See, and it says that it's still, and this was, this one came out uh, just a, this came out yesterday. You see, it says right here, Friday, uh, March 1st, 2019. 1320 Eastern Standard Time. So as you can see, this came out like around I think like I think it was like two o'clock. No, that's like one one twelve right there. One twenty, sorry. Eastern Standard Time, United States time. When this article dropped. I remember seeing it when it first dropped. And right now it's the second you guys can't see that. Let me pop this up. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so you see today is second. It's eight forty eight thirty three PM Eastern Standard Time. Okay. March 2nd, Saturday, 2019. And this dropped yesterday. And look, you will see that this is very, very, uh, very weird because they're, they're acting as if they're still searching for this woman. Yet she's murdered. I don't get this shit, y'all. And something is fishy about this. I know that brothers are saying this is new Kanika Jenkins thing. It may be, you know what I'm saying? Because this is just fishy man i don't get it i don't know why brothers who have been in this faith for a while are jumping to conclusions like for example i'll get to that in a second but anyways jor morgan sorry i'm sorry <laughs> like i said i've been on that juice a little bit but uh joy morgan murder appeal for information on accused car so this is the, the brother's car i believe Hunt for missing student focuses on Ray Honda belonging to Shofa El Israel. So this is the brother who's been, uh, <coughs> who was detained for the murder. He is the prime suspect who was released, actually. Okay. So police searching for a missing university student are trying to trace information on a car belonging to a man accused of her murder. Okay. So... Well, they we already know we know that this is not before yesterday because we looked at the article and they're saying that police is searching for a university student as if they don't have a body as if this woman may still be alive are trying to trace information on a car belonging to man accused of her murder so they only accused him of the murder he didn't confess i see nothing there is nothing out here saying that there's a confession and I'm about to get on that in a second because brothers are saying that there's a confession. I have yet to see a fucking confession. Because they're still looking for her. They're still looking for this woman. Sho, I think his name is Shofa El Israel, 40 of Northwest London, is charged with the murder of Joy Morgan. But yet, y'all are still looking for her, though. A 21 year old midwifery student at the University of Hertfordshire. Morgan was last seen in Ilford, East London, on the 26th of December, and her body has yet to be found. Look. Has yet to be found. 
So what the fuck are y'all talking about? Okay, they're saying it's a murder. And see, that's to throw you simple-ass Negroes off, man. And look, I'm not affiliated with IUIC in any way, but right is right and wrong is wrong. And you brothers for saying that she has been murdered? You're speaking death on our sister. And for y'all to say that this brother has murdered her? As of now, as of... Let's look at this right now. As of March 2nd, 2019, Saturday, 8.51.44 a.m. I mean, p.m., there is no information on this woman being murdered. There is no information on the confession. There is no information on a body being found, okay? So you're speaking death on our sister. And at the same time, you're, 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 you're bearing false witness in general, but you're bearing false witness on this brother saying that he murdered them and that IUIC has something to do with this and all this wicked shit. Stop it. Repent. 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 Repent you're wrong. And any man of the most high will admit when they're wrong. Y'all will admit when you're wrong. I admit when I'm wrong. I know it hurts sometimes. I know that's painful. But fuck your pride. Admit when you're wrong. Okay? I had to admit to my woman that just yesterday. Just yesterday, that I was wrong because she was like, "Oh yeah, you got bad grammar, blah blah blah." When I was writing my post about this whole situation, I was like, "No, that's not grammar. That's just me missing out a word." And she proved to me that missing, not putting in words that are supposed to be in a sentence is bad grammar. She was right. <laughs> I was wrong. I admit it. I was like, "You know what, babe? You were right. I fucked up. I was wrong. I didn't know. You know, I it was me being ignorant and being stubborn." So you have to, you have to be humble. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yahshua, Yehoshua, uh, Jesus, whatever you call him, he was humble. Same thing with Moses, he was the meekest man at his time. So people, please, please, be humble, admit that you're wrong, repent. Because if not, you're just going, you're just happy with your sin. These people, these brothers at IUIC, I do not agree with everything that they teach. I do not agree with what happened to Captain Yaziah. I do not agree with that shit at all. I believe that that was foul. I believe that that was foul. But I will admit when I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I will, I will admit that what's coming down on the right now is not right. You know what I'm saying? You know, when my, my, my fiance first shared this with me, I was like, what, what, what? What? Okay, let me check this out. I'm not going to say that this sister has been murdered yet. Let me find out more information first. And when I went and looked, I see that there was very little information about this woman being dead. Murdered. Okay? Now, like they said, there has not been a body. Okay, I'm going to read this to you guys again. Morgan was last seen in Ilford, East London, on December 26th. And her body has yet to be found. Detectives investigate her murder. Why is she murdered? <laughs> Why is she murdered when there has been nobody, no confession, nothing? They don't mention anything about a confession in here. Okay. Detectives investigating her murder has released a photo of a car they said belongs to Israel and, well, let me refer to this brother right here, Israel and issued an appeal for information. Police previously reported Israel's name as. Ajibola so charge bomb Mimu. So I'm, I'm thinking this brother is probably African uh, of some type. Oh, uh, the Honda car, which has been located, has a red body and black roof and bonnet. D, I think this is Detective Detective uh, Justin Jenkins from the Bedfordshire, uh, Cambridgeshire, and Hertfordshire Major Crime Unit said. We know that Joy used to travel in this vehicle, which is highly distinctive, and I am particularly interested to hear from anyone who has who saw this vehicle over the festive period in the new year. So I guess she was driving his car around. So like I said before, I seen from sources that they were joined by the hip, you know, and I guess she's been seen driving his car. So that's why he's a prime suspect. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense that he is a prime suspect, but for y'all to say that she's been murdered by this brother, that's that's jumping the gun a little bit. And a lot of you brothers and sisters have jumped the gun. Morgan described as a slim, five foot five inch with glasses and afro hair. She regularly covers with a scarf. Has links to Ilford, uh, Battersea, Cricklewood, 
<laughs> That's an ugly name. Great wood. All this shit is ugly. Stevenage and Lutton, an online fundraising page set up by a woman in the U.S. to support Morgan's family to raise almost 14,000, 10,600 euros. Rhonda Small, who is not related, contacted Morgan's mother, Carol, to offer help covering legal burial and other causes. Morgan's cousin, Charmaine, Morgan Cyrus, 36 of Battershire, uh, Southwest London said, we weren't aware of how far it would go. We're speechless, so they're talking about the, what's it called? <sighs> okay, so anyways, I'm gonna move down to this. Okay, Morgan Cyrus, remember this is her cousin, said we're praying and hoping for joy to be found. So why is this sister, why is she considered killed? Why is she still considered dead? I've seen two interviews where her mother, you guys can find this online, just type in Joy Morgan's mother. You will see, even Sakari uploaded a video and other brothers too. Seed of Israel, those are two brothers about to get on in a second. But they, but the mother and, and all the interviews I've seen, she's hoping that her daughter will be found. Just like the sister said right here, the cousin. So they were hoping that the sisters would be found. Now down here, I think they talk about... Uh, Oh, oh. Anyways, that, I read the most important stuff out of this. So, yes, they do have a fundraiser and they're about 20000 in. Well, $18,845 to the $20,000 goal. Now, isn't this very suspicious, y'all? She's not dead. Yet they're raising this for funeral costs. You know? Which I find very weird because she's not dead. <coughs> she's not dead but they're, they're raising this for funeral causes okay so look as we see here <laughs> this sister is wrong because she's saying that this sister has been murdered okay so please share and donate our sister murderer has been found with murder okay whoever you are sister you are wrong the most high will fuck you up because of this you will be you know, because the most high, he doesn't reward evil. He doesn't reward evil at all. So, I don't know what form the most high will punish you in, but he will punish you for this unless you repent. You know, so brothers and sisters, repent from this shit. Period. Um, now, I this is Sakari. Brothers from Sakari. Uh, you can hear the brother. Uh, and, and look, I have love for these brothers. This is why I'm saying this shit. <coughs> But Eleazar, you have to you you have to pull this down because you saying here that the sister has been murdered. She has not. There's no evidence of her being murdered, bro. Slow your roll. Slow your roll, Ock. You're jumping the gun and you're looking a little immature out here. Please, Ock. Please. Repent for this because we're speaking death on our sister. We're saying that she's dead and she may be fine. I'm hoping that she's fine. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I have it right here. I'm going to go back a little bit where he says that the sister is dead. There's no evidence. This is, at this moment, this time, there's no evidence suggesting that she's dead. Spirit of power up. Yahweh, I was shy, but I mean, this is a very serious time in Israel. Um, a sister by the name of, I, I'm not familiar with a Hebrew name, um, but her name is uh, Joy Morgan. Okay, out in London, I uh, was murdered. Okay, she. Okay, we're just gonna stop right there. That's all I need. This brother is saying that she's been murdered. That's bearing false witness. What evidence do you have that this sister's been murdered? <clears throat> You're bearing false witness, Ak. As most of y'all are, are familiar with at this point, she was a member of IUIC. Um, one of their uh. British chapters or British camps or UK camp, whatever you want to call it. And she was murdered by a fellow IUIC member there in Britain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I responded, but I didn't I didn't uh now I responded to his his video 
But I meant to send it to what's it called? I meant to send it to Seed of Israel. Now this is what I say. Now this can still apply to him. Because I said, repent, Ak. There's no evidence of a murder. They're still searching for her. You guys act like a that like they have found, like they have a body. Instead of waiting for a body to turn up or more info to be released, you devils, and the reason why I call them devils, I call them devils. We know that a devil is a liar. Okay? Right now they are lying. They y'all heard it from you heard it from the ox mouth. He said that the sister has been murdered, and not only that, that her murderer was another member of IUIC, referring to nobody else because the, the brother uh, Shofa, uh, who real name is Ali, I think I can't remember, mess up his name, but the Ali brother, he is a member of IUIC. So they refer to him, saying that this brother murdered her. There's no proof of it, Ak. No proof at all. Okay? So I call them devils because they're lying. Couldn't wait to spread false info. Go to every news article and you will see that nobody was found. No signs of a murder. And the mother hoping that her daughter will be found alive. Does that sound right? No, because there's nothing to suggest that she's dead. Don't even, ha they don't even have a body. Nor a confession. A confession. What the fuck? Y'all Negroes done jumped the fucking gun again, bearing false witnesses on IUIC. Y'all being simple as hell. <laughs> Y'all being simple as hell right now. Something is fishy about this case, and y'all, y'all got no spiritual eyes. Wait, and y'all got y'all spiritual eyes closed to it. So that's what I said. Now I meant to send this to what's it called, but hey, it applies. It applies here. It, it laid it here for a reason. Okay, so he says they do have a confession. One where, where? If you have this info, let us know who confessed, because this brother. The IUIC leadership talked to his brother. He didn't confess anything. He said that he did not do it. There's no articles. There's nothing. There's nothing in the news or the media saying that he confessed. There are people. Sorry. There are people who have reached out to her family, her mother, and even the brother. And they're saying that they, they haven't said that there has been any confession. The mother is saying that there hasn't been any confession to the people that have reached out to her. So where are y'all getting this from? Where, where are you getting As of now, there is no confession at all. Two, we did not say IUIC killed her. <laughs> okay, maybe I maybe I put something in here. Uh, okay, okay, see, this is what I'm saying. Because they, did he not say that, there, that a member of IUIC was responsible for her murder? He did. Okay, he did. You heard it from his mouth. Unless there's another brother around here who hijacked their platform and sounds just like Eleazar. And the reason why I say you're bearing false windows to IUIC is because his brother is a he's I he's part of IUIC. He's part of the body of IUIC. So yes, you said that <laughs> and see he's playing semantics. I didn't say that IUIC killed this woman. Y'all said that IUIC killed this woman in my original comment. I'm saying that you're bearing false witness on IUIC. Why? Because his brother is a part of IUIC. Look, maybe I needed to clarify myself. I admit, maybe I needed to clarify myself. But he knows what the I, I, I'm going to assume that this brother isn't simple. And that he knows what I'm talking about. I, please don't play with me. Please. This is beyond us. This isn't about us. Killed her. Were we bearing false witness on them? And how are we being simple? We didn't blame IUIC for the murder. We are getting on them for the lack of effort that they have put forth to find a missing member of the congregation. Okay. Well, they just proved in their, their what's called tonight, their stream tonight, that they, they, they're doing everything they can. They got boots on the ground looking for this sister. They even have um, um, a, like a, a reward if anybody has seen this sister. So you're bearing false witness, I repent. Reach out to these brothers. This is what we're supposed to be doing as brothers, man. Reach out to these brothers, man. Like, don't sit here and make assumptions. Cause look, everything that I'm saying is based on what they're saying right here. I'm not making. I'm not assuming at all. I'm not assuming. I'm going off of what I'm seeing. Okay. Y'all are sitting here and saying these brothers are not doing anything for this sister. There's a lack of effort or whatever. But they're doing something. And you're bearing false witness on these brothers. Repent, Ak. 
Repent. Okay. Uh, find a missing member of the congregation. Simple and plain. You're operating on the servile spirit of presumption and emotion, King. You need to check yourself. Shalom. Okay. I can admit I was working on emotion when I made this post. And I, I'm even working on emotion right now. But my emotion is not clouding my judgment. Everybody, if we want to be honest, everybody works on emotion in almost everything we do. But it's all about how you control your emotion. Okay? Because we're not going to sit and play suit like we don't work off of emotions. The Most High has feelings too. He has emotions of anger, hatred, happiness, joy, all this. So let's not act like we don't, we don't operate off of hatred. We are just like our Father. We have emotions. We have feelings. But it's all about how you control your feelings, okay? So anyways, that's says Halak. But this comment was meant for the Seed of Israel video, blah, 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 blah. With that being said, where is the confession? Also, if there's a confession, Ak, why has the mother stated two in two recent video interviews and in articles released in the past 12 hours? Now, this was, I made this earlier today. That they hope that she will be found alive and unharmed. So obviously, I, they have no body or evidence that she is dead. Also, there's a GoFundMe floating around to pay for her funeral. I, honest to y'all, that doesn't seem fishy? What am I missing that you got? Do you have info that hasn't been released? If so, please inform us. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not... I'm not trying to jump the gun and say anything has happened to this sister. I'm hoping that she's all right. You know, I'm really hoping that she's all right. Okay, so let's see what this brother is saying, because this says new. Now, let me see when this is bad blooded. 27th, okay. No, she is not the front. Murdered, Ock. I'm wondering where he getting his sources from. Let's see where he got his sources from. Maybe I'll check it out another time. But as I'm seeing, there's no info about this sister being murdered, man. It's a sad day no matter what because we got a sister in the faith that's missing, you know. And it, it's sad. I mean, it really is. It's sad. But there's nothing suggesting that this sister has been mitten, missing. And, you know, <coughs> another brother I want to get on is Seed of Israel. But I have to admit he did the right thing because I got on him the other day and... I told him, I was like, I said the same thing I said to Sakari, you know, because I meant to post on his, but he took his shit down, and I accidentally ended up, because I had multiple videos pulled up at the same time, and I thought I was posting on the Seed of Israel's video, but I actually not <laughs> posted on Sakari's, but it still applies, because I was going to make a comment towards him, too. Um, but anyways, right here, Seed of Israel says, IUIC Wicked Camp Murderer Revealed. And I told him, you have to repent, Ak. Same thing I told Sakari, you have to repent, because... There's no evidence suggesting that this sister was killed. So what he did, after I and other brothers had dropped comments saying like, yo, you know, of course most of the comments like, oh, you, I see you're evil, they're wicked. Uh, Cause you know, if you watch Israel's videos, he has a vendetta against camps. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he got, if he was part of a camp, he's been hurt by them or anything like that, but he is against camps. Oh my God. he. He has a great disdain towards anyone who is a part of any type of structure. I mean, it's ridiculous. His hatred for... I don't understand why we're not understanding and long-suffering with our brothers, man. Because no matter how I feel about the situation, I'm still going to love my brothers. You know, Sakari, Eliezer, me and Deacon had a... You know, we had a little spat earlier this year. I forgot what it was about, but he was he was clowning brothers. He was clowning brothers, like talking about their physical appearances. And I'm like, ah, that's not you're not being humble right about now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got a you got a pretty nice beard, no homo, but you can't be talking about other brothers' beards. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you 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 clowning brothers, and you come on now. So you know, but I still love that brother. I still got love for them. I still have love for Eliezer. I still have love for Deacon Haka. I still got love for all those brothers out there that's putting in work. And that's my fiance he messaging me right now. Feels like I have love for Seed of Israel. I don't know the brother's real name, but I got love for the act, man. But you got to repent because you're wrong. But he did, you know, 
He doesn't need to come out and say, hey, I repent, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like he should just because he made this public. He should, you know, um, you know, say like, yo, I, you know, I, I repented. I did what I had to do, you know, but if he doesn't, it's understandable. You know what I'm saying? That's between him and the most high. But if I put myself out in a, in a private, I mean, sorry, a public place, you know, spreading rumors and then I was wrong. I'm going to come back out in public and say that I, you know, I was wrong. I repent. I repented. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, you know, I hope that this brother repents because that's between him and the most high. Like the scripture says that every man shall work out his own salvation. So that's between him and the most high, but don't spread lies and rumors about brothers, man. But he did do the right thing by taking down the video, but still he's uploading videos about the sister. Um, he uploaded, um, let me check this out. Just the other day, what did he upload? Uh, it was called My Movie, but he hasn't it's the title for it. Mother of IUIC member speaks out concerning her daughter, Joy. So, um, so I don't think that he puts anything in here about her being murdered. I, he took that out. But as you can see, according to the what's it called, that he did say that she was murdered, but he, he took it back. So that's good. You know, uh, I'm glad that he's not. See, he's just against. <laughs> he's against Stop coughing camps. up. He's, he's so against camps and stuff, man. But I'm glad he took that down because I'm, I'm my words. I think my words reached him and maybe other brothers, too, because he responds to my comments every now and then. And, um, you know, he did the right thing. So I want to I want to. Um, I want to, you know, say, you know, that's good on you, Ak. You know, you still may have, feel the same way you feel against camps and all this other stuff, but I'm glad that you took down that video saying that she's been murdered because she has not been murdered. There's no evidence saying that this sister has been murdered. Let's see, so this is the video right here. IUIC Wicked Camp Murderer Revealed, you know. So I guess he actually, because when he originally made the video, he his only source of information was from another woman's video who was very emotionally charged and bearing false witness on IUIC. That was his only source. And then when I told him, because I even told him in, in my comments, go and check the sources. Go and read for yourself, Ak. Go and read the information that's actually out there instead of going for somebody else's videos and opinions. And he did that. I'm, I'm assuming that he did that. This is assumption right here. Pure speculation. But I'm assuming that he went and read for himself and he seen that there was actually no real information saying that this sister is dead. So, you know, everyone that's out there coming down against IUIC, what we should be doing is building a safety net around these brothers and hoping that our sister is doing well. <coughs> Just like Tariq Nasheed talks about all the time. We need to be on code. And I'm talking about for righteousness. Not that, that carnal spiritual code that Tariq Nasheed is talking about, that even if people are wrong, we're going to stick it from like... Uh, uh um uh, uh who said that uh uh KRS one talking about code and how these legends of hip hops even if they did some foul shit that they shouldn't uh they shouldn't be criticized or or the law shouldn't be put against them. some some foolishness like that. No. Because right is right and wrong is wrong. Like the most high said, he said, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Okay. So we have to be on code, but guess what? Like the court system says, it's basically your Yahweh system too. Innocent until proven guilty. And we know with the most high that we have to at least have two witnesses. Okay? So I'm, these are my brothers. I don't care what camp they are. As long as they're, they're showing that they're keeping the law, such as commandments, you know, faith and good works, I'm good with them. And I'm going to keep supporting them until I see that they are wrong. When they're wrong, hey, evil is evil. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Okay. But like I showed you guys, there's nothing saying that this woman is dead. There's no body found. There's nothing. Nothing. And I think it's weird that they have a GoFundMe floating around. And that sources are saying that this woman is murdered. But there's no body. 
They're hoping that she'll still be found alive. Uh, all this stuff. And then we have brothers and sisters is going around saying that this sister is dead. Y'all speaking death on her? Swift justice for our fallen princess. What? I hope to Yah that she's not dead. But if she is and she's been murdered, I hope that there is swift justice for this fallen princess. This, this daughter of Zion. But as of now, there is nothing. And you brothers who are coming down on IUIC, y'all need to repent, man. Y'all need to repent. Like I said, I don't agree with everything IUIC teaches. I don't I don't agree with everything one camp teaches. Even the camp that I'm with, the school that I'm with. I'm not with a camp, but with a school. I don't agree with everything they teach. Shit, hell. I went to a Hebrew summon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said summon. <laughs> uh, a Hebrew convention, which was the Midwestern brew out. Uh, just last weekend and I didn't agree with everything they taught but they're still my brothers you know what I'm saying and I, I believe that they're trying to keep the will of the father with the with the best of their ability you know what I'm saying whether they're wrong or right you know um, I don't know and I can't be a false accuser you know what I'm saying because when we falsely accuse people according to Torah whatever we condemn them with we're supposed to be condemned with when we when they're found innocent, you know what I'm saying. So we need to we need to stop being so trigger happy, and we need to sit down and be men and women of the Most High and fully analyze everything that's going on without making swift judgments. Okay. Anyways, I think I got everything off my chest that I needed to say. Y'all brothers and sisters, come on, we can do better than this. Everything. I mean, this is weird. I, 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 this is weird. This is just like the Kanika Jenkins shit, but I think it's even more weird. Why? Because they're saying that this is his dad and she's not dead. They got to go fund me with nobody, nothing. You know, um, <sighs> man. You see, they got this for barrel expenses, family care expenses, and legal expenses. Now I can I can understand them doing this after they found out that she died. But there's nothing yet. So what are y'all doing? If y'all just want to donate money for the hell of it, go ahead. I don't have no problem with y'all donating money, but I find it is it's weird that they're acting as if they're, they're they're gaining money for this woman's burial expenses, yet she's we don't have a body. <coughs> we don't have a body yet. So yeah, it's just it's strange to me. Anyways, guys, that's really all I have to say for now. So, I will talk to you guys later. I hope that the sister is all good. You know, I pray that the Most High has his hand over her and is watching over her. And that she's in a good place right now. I hope that she be found, you know, unscathed. And shielded with the armor of the Most High. So, that's all I have to say about this beautiful sister and then you know this that's going on right now I'll probably make another video in the future once we get more developments but that's really all I have to say right now this is strange man there's some fucking high strangeness right here I mean it's, it's weird I'm not the only one who who's seeing this for what it is that it's very strange there's other brothers who have commented on my my comments and even on my Facebook post saying the same thing that's weird but this this all smells very fishy but anyways, you brothers and sisters, y'all stay blessed. I pray that the Most High, you know, blesses you all and that y'all all stay strong in Torah and that y'all keep the will of the Father with good, good works and faith. Shalom and y'all bless.